Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to restore your iPad mini 7 via DFU mode on a MacBook. If other methods of restoring your iPad like restoring through settings or through recovery mode have failed, you can try restoring it through DFU mode. Do it only if these other methods failed. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do it via a MacBook. If you have a Windows PC, you can find another video that shows you how to do it on a Windows PC. First, you'll need to connect your iPad to your MacBook via a cable. I'm gonna use the cable that's included in the box. Connect them both and now you'll need to put your iPad in DFU mode. That is quite complicated, so if you couldn't do it the first time, you can try doing it one more, a few more times until it finally gets into DFU. You'll need to press a combination of buttons. Volume up, then volume shortly press on volume up and release then volume down and release then press and hold on the power button and as soon as the screen goes down uh, keep pressing on the power button and start pressing on the volume down button as well for four seconds then release the power button and keep pressing on the volume down button it has to be exactly four seconds and if Apple logo comes up, uh, it didn't work and you should try doing it again. Let's try doing it. Volume up, volume down, power. Now start volume down, one, two, three, four, and release the power. And now go onto your MacBook and if it displayed a window with your iPad and an alert that says your Mac has detected an iPad in DFU mode, it worked. So you can click on OK. And now you can click on Restore iPad. Then click on Restore and Update. And it will download the software for updating your iPad. I've done it before, so it will just start preparing iPad for restore, but downloading the software may take quite a few minutes for you. After a longer while, it will show this alert on your MacBook and your iPad will restart. After that, you'll be able to set it up like a new device, but remember that it will be iCloud locked, so you will need to uh, enter your previous logged in iCloud account credentials in, in order to unlock your activation lock. And now the iPad has been rebooted. You can unlock it and configure it. And I'm gonna show you the activation lock. This is the activation lock and you need to enter the previous logged in email and password and then you'll be able to set it up further. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.